today we are doing a subtraction story which is math textbook page 32 we are going to solve the story sums or word problems the first one is anand read 28 story books sagar read 40 how many more books did anand read than sagar now in your book you will make two columns statement and working under working you will write t and u in your square line books and again you will leave one line then we will start with our statements different schools follow different methods of how they want to leave lines and what will be in blue pencil or not but Writing this way helps it to be more clear and understandable. Let's begin. So the first statement will be number of books Anand read, which is 28. Number of books Sagar read, which is 14. This is already given to us. You will put T and U in blue pencil. You will put your minus sign in blue pencil. Next, total number of books Anand read more than Sagar because this is the question that is asked for from us. So we can find all three statements here. Anand read 28 story books. First statement, Sagar read how many? Second statement and third statement, how many more books did Anand read from Sagar? So 28 minus 14. 8 minus 4 is 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 4 fingers. 4. 2 minus 1 is 1. So the answer is 14. Again you will underline this with blue pencil. Answer. 14. Total number of books Anand read more than Sagar. Second question. Sudhir had 46 marbles. He lost 12 of them. How many does he still have? We will follow the same method of statement working, deep, evil line and then we will start with our statements. Always remember statements are there in the word problem itself. You only have to pick from there and write over here. And we always start with number of. Number of marbles Sudhir had 46. Number of marbles he lost 12. Again we will put our minus sign in blue pencil. Now the last statement, total number of marbles he still has. Again now we will do our minus operation. So 6 minus 2, 4, 4 minus 1 is 3. So the answer is 34. Total number of marbles Sudhir still has. Third sum, in a basket there are 58 periwinkle or sadafuli flowers and 32 of hibiscus which is jasmanda. How many more are the hibiscus flowers less than the periwinkle flowers? Now we will start with our statements. Number of periwinkle flowers in the basket 58. Number of hibiscus flowers in the basket 32. Total number of hibiscus flowers less than Periwinkle flowers because that is what they are asking us. Remember less than. Don't get confused by this one. How many are? Remember we are searching how many are less than periwinkle flowers. So the answer is 8 minus 2, 6. 8 minus 2, 6. 5 minus 3, 2. Answer 26. Total number of hibiscus flowers less than periwinkle flowers. Fourth sum. There were 16 bananas in a basket. Manpreet added some bananas to the basket and then there were 29 bananas in it. How many bananas did Manpreet add? Now they have twisted the word problem for us. First they have given us the total bananas that were there in the basket. So now our statement will be number of bananas in the basket after Manpreet added the bananas. So which were 29. Our next statement now will be number of bananas in the basket which was 16. What are they asking us? 
how many bananas did Manpreet add? So our third statement will be total number of bananas Manpreet added. Again minus sign in blue pencil. 9 minus 6 is 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have 3 fingers up. So answer over here is 3 and 2 minus 1 is 1. So answer is 13. Number of bananas Manpreet added. Always remember, when we are doing subtraction, the highest number will always be on top. So, even if they have put 16 bananas first, we will not use this as our first statement. Our first statement will always be the one which has the biggest number on it. So, 29 will be our first statement. For subtraction, this is the rule we use. And with the help of these statements, you can finish all those sums on page 32. Do remember to like, share, subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated on all of the latest videos. Please let us know in the comment section below what other lessons you would like us to make. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching.